Hello, bro. So me 11T review. It is not pro version, just simple 11T. You know, when Xiaomi presents a new smartphone, you just don't want to believe them. And every point that they declare must be checked, which is what you and I will do in this video. But first, I want to draw your attention to two features. The first is a fast and very cool charging of 67 watts. But does it work? Make the right choice. To check the charging speed, I took the supplied cord and power supply, plugged it directly into the outlet and timed it. After 39 minutes, it was already 100%. Xiaomi didn't deceive us here. Hmm. With this item, Xiaomi didn't deceive us, but with the other one, even us. This is a cinematic mode. According to the company itself, you can shoot a movie using this mode. But you know, there is a such nuance. Just watch this. I shoot two almost identical videos, stabilization, smooth focus, everything is the same. So what is the difference? You got the meaning. In this mode, Xiaomi only cast the top and bottom of the video. Nothing else is used in this mode. Okay, let's talk about the display now. There is 120 Hz, Dimensity 1200. What's wrong with it? The display received an AMOLED matrix, above average quality, because black colors are really black. 120 Hz work, Full HD resolution with a display size of 6 per 67 inches. The display itself is not rounded. A few words about design. The glass back cover, rounded edges. The camera unit looks fantastic, I really like it. But there is a flaw here. 11T constantly wants to do a backflip because the upper part hates more than the lower one. The frame is metal, the upper face is flat, on this side you can put on the table. The bottom is rounded, so as not to hurt your hand. Everything is very thoughtful, which is not like Xiaomi. Jack is not included. As you understand, Xiaomi did not mess up with the display. Everything works perfectly and miss the state's specifications. But the processor from Mediatek Dimensity 1200 failed. Check the throttling test. And for some reason, the ideal processor in the smartphone from Xiaomi began throttled and lost a lot of performance during the test. As you know, this processor is not famous for such results. Most likely, the company has done a bad job on cooling. So this problem arises. It's time for cameras. Xiaomi 11T. As you know, Mi Company does not exist. The main camera got 108 megapixels, ultrawide 8 and macro 2 megapixels, so that you can take a close photo of your kitten's muzzle, though it looks like a Siemens C65. Do we even need these 108 megapixels? Try to guess where are the 100 megapixels mod and where is the simple one. I thought there was 108 megapixels on right, but no. Therefore, the 100 megapixels mod disappears, as does the probability of using this mode in simple mode, I am satisfied with everything, especially the dynamic range. Check out how cool the sun looks behind the clouds. The ultra-wide camera is 8 megapixels, and for this money I want at least 12. In comparison, it takes pictures normally. There are no distortions at the corners. Portrait mode. The algorithm for separating mode person from the background at a highest is better than the alternatives one of the same money. The front camera is 16 megapixels and shoots just fine for this money. No 4K on front camera. Check microphone quality. Mi 11T, который не про, я не упаду, все нормально. Вот. Грустно, что в нем нет 4K. Также цените звук, который сейчас тут записывается. Вот. Ну и в целом очень странно, да, телефон за такую сумму денег стоит Dimensity 1200, но почему-то он не может писать 4K. Хотя бы 30 кадров в секунду на фронталочку. And now go to rear camera. Так, друзья, это у нас Чигет. Вот там вот уже виден Эльбрус. Я все это снимаю с рук. Вот, вроде как более-менее нормально. Посмотрите на эту красотень. Я не знаю, как это еще называть. Как великолепно падает солнышко. Хотите, я могу вам что-то приблизить на цифровой зум. Давайте вот эту гору приблизим максимально. I liked the stabilization. Here is an example. The front end without a stop, and the main one with its use. 
вот сейчас вы можете видеть на одной стороне фронталочка, которая без стабилизатора оптического, и, соответственно, на другой стороне у нас основной модуль вместе с оптическим стабом. И работает он довольно-таки неплохо, если оценивать в сравнении. In conclusion, about the cameras I must say that I really like the video shooting. The only question I asked was, why? With the Domain City 1200 I don't have the ability to shoot 4K 60fps video. If you know the answer to this question, then write it in the comments. Because in the specifications of the processor there is support for shooting 4K 60fps video. RAM in 11T is very good, because Xiaomi installed it already on 8GB of RAM. 8GB? In the speed test this memory gains as much as 53,000 MB per second, and that's a lot, because my Realme JT 5G is gaining 47,000 MB, and this is a wonderful, I'm talking about 11T. For this price, such RAM speed is acceptable. If we recall our record holder, Asus 8, he scored Zenfone 8 as much as 57,000 MB per second in this connection. I want to express my great respect to the Xiaomi company for the cool RAM. There are two options for internal memory, 128GB like mine and 256. The slot is only for two SIM cards, therefore immediately decide what amount of memory will be enough for you. Regarding the sound, the 11T has stereo sound, and what I really liked? Xiaomi decided to install a full-fledged speakers on top, and this means that when you will watching a video, none of the channels will stand out. In other words, the volume of both speakers will be the same. There is the main thing. There are two main speakers and another conversation one. And the company noticed this feature in its budget phone Redmi 10. I can't find fault with the scanner either. As you can see, I pressed the button and it unlocks in a split second. The company has done a good job here. In general, the fingerprint scanner for smartphone from 15,000 or more works just fine. Yes, here is another thing, there is an NFC model, and you can pay for Porsche everywhere you want, battery. It has a capacity 5000 mAh. As you could understand at the beginning of the video, the Xiaomi 11T smartphone charges in 39 minutes. It really is. This charge will be enough for a day and a half stably, and sometimes even I had enough for two full days. With such a performance, with 120Hz, with a 5000 mAh battery, this indicator is good, in my opinion. There are no wireless and reversible charges. The most interesting thing is that Xiaomi has finally made a non-lagging interface for the entire time of use, which is two weeks. It did not hang and did not lag. It was a new experience for me. By the way, in the new interface I have the MIUI version 12.5.2. There is a cool option that allows you to open the control panel if you pull down on the right side, and if you pull the left side, the notifications panel opens. The same can be done even if you use the the app. This is very convenient, because you have more space for the icon's vibration. It's good here. Not as cool as in flagships for 700s or more, but it's much better than the Realme company. The price of Xiaomi 11T is $515. About that. We will say that it is costs $500. To be the honest, I want to hate the 11T and offer to take the Realme JT Neo. But due to the fact that the MIUI, shell and video shooting in this smartphone are at good level, it makes sense to overpay a few dollars to these options. And for this money I have a few questions. Why is the Dimensity 1200 if my Realme JT have Snap 888 for less money? And why here is 108 megapixels and here is 64 megapixels? The answer is obvious. Xiaomi decided to follow the marketing and made as many megapixels as possible. But if you understand men, like all my subscribers, you know that it is not 108 megapixels decided, but the software and the size of the pixel. I'm ready to recommend this phone whole and completely if you can snatch it for $300. A very nice and good quality device. Not without its adventures. But what can I do? The MRC channel was with you. I love everyone. So far.